Hello, it is I, Vadim, and today I am going to show you Ace Magician Mini BC. This thing is tiny. Just check it out. Fits into the palm of my hand. And if you want any more size references, then uh, here's a credit card sized card. So yeah, look at that. It's just, it's just super small. Okay, let's have a look at the specs. This is a model name T8 Pro with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD storage. CPU is Jasper Lake and 5095. That's Celeron. And in terms of ports, you get a lot for such a small package. Three HDMI ports and you can actually use those three at the same time, so that's up to three 4K 60 Hz monitors. On this side, you get three USB 3 ports, and at the back, dual gigabit LAN, so that's two ports right here, audio jack, and that's the power connection. Uh, it is wireless ready, so Wi Fi and Bluetooth is enabled in here so you can connect your wireless uh, uh, devices and connect to your home Wi-Fi network no problems in the box along with the PC you will receive a power adapter and an accessory <clears throat> this is a bracket that you can use to mount this mini PC at the back of your monitor so you can just put it at the back of your monitor and that's it. Unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate it because uh, this is a TV without a VESA mount and I'm using it as a monitor right now. So yeah, sorry about that. And here are the screws for, for this VESA bracket. Here, in the, here is an example of how it looks on the desk. I've connected my monitor, the power, keyboard and mouse. It barely takes up any space at all. Right? Right? Now the power on test. Let's see how long it takes for it to boot up. Boom, you're in the system. This thing comes pre-installed with Windows 11 and let's have a look at what it actually costs. As you can see on Amazon right now, it's priced at $199 and uh, there is a coupon for the discount available. That's not a $20 off, that's like what, $179. The CPU inside has four cores and Intel integrated graphics. So let's see how well it does in just normal day-to-day -day activities. Let's do some browsing. Go to Amazon just, you know, to maybe buy some stuff. What do they have on the offer? Oh, look at that. Samsung S6 tablet okay let's check it out as you can see sometimes it's not the snappiest but you know for the price I don't see why not it does acceptable job let's open up more let's go to YouTube and for example oh look at that breathtaking beauty of nature finland and it's running at 4k yeah 4k stream it gets a little choppy once you are trying to interact with uh, with the menus but look at that once we have chosen 4K resolution streaming, 
and just sit back and enjoy the view it is actually absolutely smooth there are absolutely no problems with streaming 4k videos wow finland is beautiful i should go visit someday let's check out how it handles navigating through windows as you can see we're opening up some folders just navigating I would say that it is pretty responsive. Well, thanks to that SSD. Let's open up some apps. Not bad. Let's navigate a little bit more across YouTube. Let's see. Home. Everything loads pretty quick. Let's check out what Marquis Brownlee has to say about S23. As you can see, the footage sometimes get, gets a little choppy, but once you just let it load, it is smooth. I would say it's fine. It's not the greatest performance, but it is adequate. Check this out. This is a $180 PC. <laughs> That's the price of a CPU for most of us. And here you get a whole PC for that price. Another thing I would like to find out is how well this mini PC can handle light games. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to play any AAA games on it, but I think it will be able to handle some lighter games, like let's start with League of Legends. Let's start with 1080p medium settings. Check this out. I can see close to 60 FPS. I see 50. This is totally playable. But you know what? I know that shadows are not very much important and they are actually hogging up a little bit of FPS there. So let's turn the shadows off. Check this out. It added another 10 FPS. That's pretty cool. The lowest I've seen was 48, I think. Of course, uh, once you get into like a very heavy combat scenario, the FPS may dip further. But still, we are running on a super cheap Celeron integrated graphics CPU. So let's turn it down a notch to low and see how well that does. We aren't dipping below 50 now. It's like close to a stable 60. Let's see if we can improve on that a little bit more because <laughs> there is a lower setting. There is a very low. Hold on, let's see. Very low 1080p. I don't want to go to 720p because I find it... I, I'm, I'm not finding it enjoyable to actually play at that resolution because I'd rather be on very low and play at 1080p than 720p to be honest with you. Yeah, when there is more stuff going on on the screen then we dip to about 50 fps still. Let's go and check out another game. Okay, so this is uh, League of Legends TFT quite a late game well not late but late enough so that there are enough characters on the field to you know really stress the gpu this is 1080p medium settings even shadows are on medium and as you can see a lot of stuff is going on and the fps doesn't drop below 30 which i think is extremely well for this type of uh, 
games, you know. You don't need high FPS in this scenario. I'm very happy with having 30 FPS and just enjoying the game. One more thing I would like to demonstrate is uh, the noise level of uh, this mini PC, if any. As you can see, the game is running. So normally that is a, you know, pretty good workload. So what I'll do is I'll take this microphone and I'll bring it closer to the PC to have a listen. I don't know if uh, the mic will even pick up any noise because to be honest with you, you can barely hear the fan noise. I can hear it a little bit, but it's nothing disturbing. In conclusion, I think uh, this is a pretty nice small PC. It has a good number of ports, it is tiny, it is quiet, it does all that it has to do, such as, you know, simple tasks, web browsing, working with documents, you know, the day-to-day -day activities. And it is actually a plus that it can run some simple games, such as League of Legends. Yeah. For $180, I don't know, is it worth it? I guess it's up to you to decide. But I think it is a very nice little PC. The link will be in the description below if you want to check it out on Amazon. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.